Welcome back. So it's time to actually take our dumb, dumb list and convert it into an actual database, but still in memory. We're going to make a database in memory and we're going to use <clears throat> a framework called the Entity Framework for that NTT, like, just like we have a package called Entity right here. Um, and that framework is going to help us actually calling uh, for data, saving data, getting data, deleting data, removing data. So we're going to have the full CRUD functionality Behind the scenes, what the Entity Framework is going to do for us is it's going to make SQL queries, it'll send those to an MSSQL server in our case, and then it will execute these queries on the MSSQL server. I'm not going to use time to actually write SQL code with you guys, so you'll have to just look that up somewhere else if you want to know how to make SQL queries. Because the Entity Framework will do it for me, and I will just use Link and Lambda together to actually generate SQL queries, in pure C Sharp. Now, the power of this is that I can, as a C Sharp developer, I can make pretty much anything come through, right? I can make some pretty interesting requests. Now, the backside of the coin is actually that sometimes the requests or the queries it's generating, they're not perfect. They're slow, they're too big, they start picking things from the wrong tables, they make too many requests to actually solve an issue. So, a lot of SQL developers will tell you that you can make these queries a lot better on your own. I, 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 take, I talk about this because even though that is the case, the NC framework is a great place to start to just get data for simple applications and to get data um, for applications that aren't, where, where performance of the database requests aren't the absolute uh, requirement is zero milliseconds. It might take a bit of time here and there because the requests aren't perfect. And another thing, if you figure out a request is not perfect, you can actually go and write a request as SQL yourself if you want to improve on it. So there's still the possibility to both write pure SQL requests yourself using the NT framework, or you can actually go in and make a store procedure if that's what you like using the NT framework still. So the NT framework gives you some possibilities, but how do we get it? Where do we get it from? So with the NT framework, we can get that from a NuGet package setup. Now, NuGet package is um, the, the NuGet package system is a place that Microsoft provides for you where we can find a lot of different third part packages and also Microsoft packages that can help us solve issues so we don't have to write the code ourselves. The cool thing about that is it, this is proven that it works because it's up here and other people have tested it. So most of the time they really work and sometimes you'll find packages that are kind of doubtful. So figure out who the developer is. In this case, what we are looking for is the entity framework core in memory. So I'll do a search here on the page and it pops up down here. Entity framework core in memory. Now we could start actually grabbing that directly from this, but next lesson what I want to do is I want to try and show you how to do it from the Mac and from the um, PC and actually try and get these into your projects under the data access layer. But now you guys know there's a huge place here with a lot of packages you can go and grab for free. So you can go and grab them. There's still license on, on, license on some of them, but pretty much all of them are free to use. So go and look. If you have a package you need, if you need to like convert JSON into objects, maybe there's a package for it. If you need to figure out how to convert a string into an object, maybe there's a package for it. So you can start looking for packages here. And next lesson, I'll show you how to use these packages inside our projects. See you next time.